On this video, we are talking privacy in the RV, how to cover those unwanted windows. So in this video, we are talking about windows and the ones that you don't want anybody to see in. We're gonna talk about covering those kind of windows without using blinds or curtains, and it will be something that would be removable if you ever decided you didn't want it. The first thing that I'm gonna talk about in this video, it's called gallery glass. You can do lead glass windows without knowing how to do any kind of artistic ability. There's so many different options with this. So this comes in all kinds of colors. It comes in clear, it comes in white. You can make your own patterns or make it look like anything that you want. I have a window in our house that's in our bathroom. It's an octagon window. I used gallery glass and it has at least been 16 years ago easily 16 years ago. Because when we redid and got that bathroom, we had that window and I didn't like that it was plain. So I went and bought this gallery glass and used it on that window. Now that window does get a lot of evening sun, so it gets hot and it is still there just as good and looks exactly the same as it did the day that I installed it. I went to go buy some because I was wanting to show you what this looks like. Now, when I did that window and they still had it, it was like a leading strip. It come in long strips and then you just cut it. When I did it, I just had an X-Acto knife and I just cut it and then you just put it up how you wanted it to look. You followed the lines. Now, those were like $20 just for those strips and if I was doing a window that I wanted to keep and use this for, it wouldn't be a problem because obviously I bought them when I did that window, but I didn't want to buy them just for this video because I don't really have a window that I want to use it on. And I just wanted to tell y'all about this. So I did buy some clear, the white, and some just liquid leading because they make it in a liquid form. It is a little harder to put on. And if you get the sticks, you do want the liquid leading too, because what I did to make mine look more like leaded glass, I took the leading and put it everywhere and everywhere that it touched, I took the liquid leading and put like a dot over the top of it to make it look like it had been soldered. Then after you do that, then you just fill in what colors you want in the different sections and that's it. Now, if you use the leading that I was telling you about that's in the strips, you can put it on and then right after start filling in. If you buy the liquid leading, you have to outline or do whatever you want and then you've got to let it sit for 24 hours before you fill in the colors. Because if you don't, they'll mix together and I did buy some little beads because I thought I was going to be cute and do something a little bit different because I did buy a piece of plexiglass because I wanted to show you how this goes on. And all I did was found a butterfly coloring book page. I put it behind it. I taped it onto the glass and then I traced all the lines with the liquid lead. And then I let it sit for 24 hours so it could harden and then I filled in with the colors. And I found these cute little beads and I thought, oh, this is like a good idea. I think this could be pretty. Well, yeah, I guess it could be pretty, but because I was laying down, it worked, but then I got to thinking, if you were doing it on a window like this, it would be so hard to get the beads into that paint if you're on a vertical surface. So I don't know that those were such a great idea, but I bought them because I thought it was gonna be cute. Now, the great thing about this is you can put this on any glass and then if you decide that you don't want it anymore, you can just take it, peel it off. It completely comes off in one piece and you don't even have to mess with it anymore. Now, another way that you can use the liquid lead is you can draw out straight lines, let that harden, peel it off, and then stick it onto the glass like the other little strips are. But the other strips to me, it just looks more like leaded glass if that is the look you're looking for. 
Now, you don't even have to put the leaded look into the window. If you want a window, just so that nobody can see in or see out, you can take the clear, the white, the colored, and swirl it, and it will make it where it's opaque and you cannot see through. So you could just do the whole window with that. But I really feel like this is a great and can be somewhat inexpensive way to transform a window from something that you can see in to where it's not as easy to see in. Now, the next option is, and I have not used this, but I have seen a lot of people talk about it on YouTube, is it's a film that makes the glass look opaque or not see-through. And it is basically like peel and stick wallpaper for your window. At any point, if you get tired of it, you just peel it off and it's gone. If you don't like to paint or don't feel like you have an artistic touch that you want to tackle painting on the lead, this would be a great option as well. I will leave a link to everything I've talked about today in the description. The gallery glass, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, you can get it at Walmart. They are really limited on what they have at Walmart. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. And then Michaels and stuff like that, you can even get it there. Hobby Lobby had a good selection there. They did not have the pieces of strips of leading. The only place that I've been able to find that is on Amazon. But I feel like both of these are really great options for those windows that you want to make it where people can't see in but yet the light still comes in. I hope this video helped you. And also we are getting so close to 5,000 subscribers. And when we do, I'm gonna do a giveaway. So please, please, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Till next time, like and subscribe.